Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. Children having fun is serious business, and our entrepreneur Victor believes he has the numbers to prove it. My business runs cuts across uh, the entire the entire population, from manufacturing to hotel industry, marketing, anything any lion can be able to fit properly square in my company. Hi lions, my name is Victor Silla. I'm a self-made person. I'm an engineer by training. I've worked in several companies, running my career from a technician to a workshop manager. And before my exit into entrepreneurship, I was a general manager in an automobile engineering company. My company is called Fun Fibers Industries. It's a company that's built on the idea of innovative solutions to our clients. And we are very sensitive on going green. So we use fiberglass to fabricate and manufacture all our products. Our company has mainly four revenue centers. We make those kids' corners, we value waste disposal, and we are creating good beans which are pedal and hands-free. Thirdly, we have a motor division line where we do fiberglass cargo bodies for pickups, for trucks, and lastly, we have a division doing waterproofing and giving all our clients at least two years of warranty for playgrounds, up to 50 years of warranty for waterproofing. We've been running for the last one year actively doing all these things, but I have a combined experience of about 15 years doing these kind of projects. We are looking to invite an investor to our business so that we can be able to give a 22% equity for 6 million Kenya shillings. Fun Fibers seems to be full of potential, but the only way to truly know is by nailing down the numbers. Can you start by telling us how much revenue you've made in the one year? The one year we've done 8.6 million shillings. Which is the biggest revenue stream at the moment? At the moment, 60% of our revenue is from the kids' playgrounds. In terms of your profit margins, of this 8.6 million, what really was your profit? About 40%, about 4 million shillings of profit. Mm -hmm. What was your investment in the business for you to start? We started first, when we started, not really have like investment in terms of money, we had the intellectual property. That's what got us fired. And we pumped my mm -hmm. own machines from home, what we used about mm -hmm. 300, 400,000, mm -hmm. instead of machinery, and got ourselves started. How many are you? Directors? Lots of we, we, we. Well, it's my, my team now, I call, I call it my team now, my staff, like, the, like my partners, but the director, I'm alone. Okay. So if you get this money, the six million, what do you intend to do with it? To get at least one container load of assorted raw materials, which can be able to run, run for at least six months. How many units have you sold in the last year? The last one year we've sold 11. And what's the average price for one? 500, 450, 500,000. You're talking of something like the whole, yes, yes. the whole setup. The whole setup. Okay. Yeah. From a demand point of view, do you have like 70 people waiting for these? That's, in fact, that's our biggest challenge because the clients want so much that sometimes we can't tell them that we have a challenge in getting bulk raw materials. So you have to handle project by project. You have to finish. How many paid. back orders do you have right now? Before we used to have one, then after a month another. Then, for this year now, they're becoming more back to back, two in a month. Victor, um, have you considered to do a unit maybe, maybe for rental? Yes, yes. And? People come to do it, but you see now, we are, look, we are focusing at selling what's available, not us, us renting out, no. We focus on just develop for people, finish deal, give them, we just run the maintenance. What's the story behind this? I believe in innovation right from the time I was a little boy and to be innovative and passion for what I'm doing. I did my first product out of fiberglass and we tried it out with the kids and it's fantastic. So we thought, why can't I do it as something special for me to get some money as well? As I get solutions for the kids, I also get some money. That, that setup? Yes. If it was in full plastic, how much would it cost? If I was, say, half a million, for instance, just a block figure. Plastic will be about 600,000. But the plastic is ready to go, so someone will just buy it and it's installed immediately. You would take about two weeks? Hours to install it, about three days. However, we we'll look at, one, we have a maintenance contract. Mm -hmm. Two, we are able to repair fiberglass to as good as new. 
unlike all other materials. What do you see your growth being like for the next two, three years? From my projections, we'll be able to grow the company to 300% in the first one year. And then that's 2020. 2021, we'll grow by 100% because of the elections. Now 2022, our company will go down for the nature of the trends in the country. We'll go down by 70%. Twenty twenty three, eighty five percent. How many truck bodies have you built? Fun fibers. Now we have one challenge of getting to do the truck bodies because where we are located, we can't have trucks going. So we're only doing partial partial jobs on trucks. However, we've done two trucks at the customer's place. Victor, how much are the bins? The bins go for eighteen thousand shillings. Is so that very expensive? Mm. No, it's not. No. But why eighteen thousand? As opposed to. As opposed to normal bin, I think should be three, four thousand. Yeah, exactly. Three, four thousand. If you buy a bin, yeah, yeah. non carcinogenic yeah, You're right. If you, if you buy an ordinary bin of, say, a plastic material, one, you'll not go to a shop, get a bin, and get a guarantee. You'll not. The high price points are not sitting well with Kevin Mulay. But Chris Senanu has other thoughts. You have a nice business, but it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Let me tell you why innovation comes in. An example, we're looking at this product. Yeah, what is that? This you? product now is it's the thing, they is the the thing where kids, for KCB, we have kids, they have a bank. In Which lion do you think can help your business? My business starts from manufacturing to marketing. To... When I see you guys, I just see my partners in business. I'm sure Tashan can be able to walk me through the importing process, manufacturing, getting these things. I know Chris has a wealth on tech, he's a tech guy, and I'm sure you can... I'm wondering which part of the tech are you fitting there. I can't put the tech in the bins. The, 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 you know, the, the cubs will be shouting to the kids, <laughs> save, yeah. save, save. All you guys fit squarely. You fit squarely into this. It seems Victor wants all the lions in the deal. Which one of them will make an offer first? I think you have a very good opportunity to speak to the counties, Thank you. companies that are going green. Your finishing is amazing. And those stuff for the kids, Thank you will you. never go wrong. The word is never go wrong when you're targeting the kids. Fantastic idea you have. I honestly feel, for me, um, your bins are very expensive. Will be a model where you can make them slightly more affordable. You know, and for that reason, I'm out. For me, it's not very exciting. It's exciting in that, in what you're doing, but after five years, you'll be saturated and you'll be looking for your next thing because your maintenance fees can't sustain the company. The goodness of the quality may also be your downfall eventually because at some point, there'll be nowhere else to go. It's great, but it's not that exciting for me. So I'll have to say I'm out. Thank you, Olive. I would like to offer you my marketing support. Thank you. Um, I don't really feel I'm the right person to invest in this business because I think that you would need somebody who understands a lot more of the manufacturing element, the design element, and moving to different product lines where I can help with some of the design. But the technical part, I'm not an expert in that. But I can see so many ways to unwrap how you would monetize it beyond the warranty period. Yes. Uh, so for me, I'm out, but I think you're doing a good job. Three lions are out, citing various reasons. Fun Fibers being a manufacturing enterprise, will Dash and Chandaria jump on it? Victor, I like you. I, I, I've been sitting back and... I think there's some bottlenecks in the business. You know, potentially the recurring revenue once you've sold a playground, etc. But I have a lot of respect for where you've come from. You're self-made, your story is, you know, fantastic. Um, I think you need some help. Um, I'm going to make you an offer. Okay, I, I will give you all of the money for 33% of your business. Victor, Victor, Victor. Yes, Chris. While he thinks hard what he's going to offer you, I also have a warehouse in Georgia that's good to go. Fitted office, good to go. 
Are you offering we, it for free? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can work it out. I have no issue. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I have no issue. We can work it out. <laughs> get him to throw it in. Throw Six million. million. You need to get it for free. It get it in for yeah. free, yeah? Maybe Chris has a good For the next down. 10 years. <laughs> I, I don't have a good down, yeah. to be frank and honest. I yeah, don't. Um, I, just, I just feel... Lions should be fair to entrepreneurs. So I'm going to make you a count out. <laughs> Six million? 30%. Oh, come on, guys. Really? That's not fair. But between the two of you, there's no difference. There is. 33 and 30. He has a go down. If he puts it in for free, that's a very good deal. I'll advise him to take it. Talk, Victor. Well, I'm looking at... You see, that's, we are talking as per present. And as good we've seen the potential, is the, the numbers. We can't, we can't, we can't sell potential. Mm. We are selling what we have right now. Smart man. Mm. And I'd feel if you can do 8.5 million, for instance, for 30, 33% equity, plus I go down, that would okay. be. And be able to work together. And surely within a year or two, we'll be able to achieve even more than that, more than 50, 100 million. I'm sure. I'm not doubting that. Even at 33%, we're valuing your business at 18 million shillings today. Mm. You know, given, 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 you know, where you've been, What's the, the problem with that? Made... One of these is 500,000. You sell 20 of them, boom. Yes. So, so, what, what are we talking about? So, so, so speak. I've spoken. Uh -huh. So I've spoken too. Let me just help you. Yeah. We do, we do the 30%, for instance, plus they go down, and we get, we get both Dashan and Chris on board. But we work together. Uh -uh. No, this one he can. Uh -uh. He can. <laughs> no, you're better off with one lion uh -huh. like this. Uh -huh. You know. Um, <laughs> be careful, Dashan. You laugh again, it's off the table. <laughs> I think you should go with Dashan. Yeah. He'll, he'll add more value to your business. Um, we're, we're, we always understand, but we can, we can see what we do. So, I'm, I'm out. Just. <laughs> so six million, thirty percent, thirty percent, and the warehouse go down. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Let's understand how much space you need. Yes. You see, I, I also want to be practical. Let's say, for example, sure. if you need only half of it, we can mm. work out a model, you know, to, mm. to rent half to mm. somebody else and give you future expansion space. Exactly. That's fine. Mm. Good. Then I think you have a deal. Fantastic. Yay! Thanks, Tim. Good. Good. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Leon. Thank Congratulations. You Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In a quick turn of events, Chris Senanu pulls out of the deal, leaving the entrepreneur with no choice but to go with manufacturing mogul Darshan Chandaria. A sure win. I feel like you have someone ready to work with you, someone believing in you. It's very satisfying. Yeah, it's just, it's never good to leave Darshan by himself. The guy would have screwed the guy for 40%. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, you never know. Know. Yeah. 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 the first yeah. guy. <laughs> You gotta know what you need. <laughs> Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank.